Hey everyone. Hey bag makers, I'm Sarah Lawson from Soul Sweetness. This is my husband Danny and you're watching Social Sunday, my weekly sewing chat. Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Thanks so much for making time in your day to join us for Social Sunday. I see Helen's watching from Pennsylvania, uh, Alicia from Kansas, um, Nancy's also watching. Hey, Nancy and Jackie from Maryland. So welcome everyone to Social Sunday. We'll be chatting Great about comment. some things. Oh, Lisa says, yay, Danny's We'll joining. let that one sit for a few seconds. <laughs> um, we'll be chatting about a few things, uh, answering some questions live near the end of the show. And there's a great giveaway at the end. So stay tuned for that. So uh, I wanted to share, I know I've been sharing some wildlife photos uh, lately. I wanted to share um, a photo of, a couple of photos of the sandhill cranes that I've been taking. Uh, we have these sandhill cranes. They're sort of a marshy lake near our house, a few houses down. And so I see them every morning around eight o'clock, between eight o'clock and 9.30. Um, especially if I'm in the studio, they seem to be passing like right in front of my front window. So Danny's gonna put a couple pictures on the screen of, uh, they have a baby and he's he or she is so cute. He's big, but still fuzzy looking. Okay, so that's the adult. That's the father, I believe, because the father's slightly larger than the mother. And that's the baby. He's uh, maybe two, about two months old. Uh, he's very tall. He's almost as tall as the parents, but he's got the, the fuzzy feathers on his head. Still very cute. I saw them again this morning. Uh, this morning it was 930. So like I said, there's a short range that they pass by our house. I'm not really sure where they're going because they're coming from the direction of the the marshy pond and they're going out toward the houses so maybe they're just sightseeing uh, past the houses every day but it's really fun to see them. Um, I also have um, a couple of other photos to put on the screen and these photos were sent to me by Teresa Whitlock. Teresa sent me her um, system for hanging her acrylic templates, her So Sweetness acrylic templates and so here's her pegboard that her husband put together for her with the pegs and as you can see she's got two different rings uh, on going through the acrylic templates connected to the pegboard so Teresa sent me the exact products that she uses she said a lot of the pegboards um, cannot be hung flush against the wall because of the pegs that need to go through them um, I think we have experience with that, right? You hung a peg pegboard for me, but you had to make a, a frame for it, right? Is that correct? I made the frame because it was elevated off the ground. Oh, okay. So but would it... That was the reason for the frame. Oh, okay. So Teresa was kind enough to send me the exact products that she purchased, just in case you're interested in a similar setup. And I really like the method, like I mentioned, of the two different rings that she used. She used, uh, t uh, let's see two inch binder rings from the office supply store and then one inch rings and she connected the one inch ring to the two inch ring just so the acrylic templates would hang um, flat. And so um, I really appreciate you sending me all that information, Teresa. And again, if you're looking for the specifics about the products that she purchased, I put those in the description because she provided uh, details about every single item that she used for her pegboard. So thanks again, Teresa. Um, Danny's second far favorite part of the Sunday show when he makes an appearance. Uh, we'd like to invite all the bag makers to stand proud. Let us know in the comments that you're part of uh, the So Sweetness squad. We really, really appreciate you watching the shows. Um, so glad you're here. I'm working on some fun things. Hopefully we can get those out to you soon. Thanks and for liking, commenting, subscribing, yep. every, all the above. You guys do a wonderful job and thank you very much for that. Yeah, and thank you for sticking with us. We've been doing the live shows for over three years now. And, I saw we had 80,000, over 80,000 on YouTube too. So yeah, it's really, really appreciate by. it. Yep. Yep, for sure, and thank you. Certainly lots of fun. So I wanted to share with you uh, one of the new patterns. We finished filming the video yesterday, so I'm starting to get all the final details ready for the new this particular new pattern. I have four in dif four different patterns, new patterns in different stages, but this one's the, the farthest along. However, we did promise the Rockstar bag video, so uh, we intend to release that one first before this pattern just to be, um, we've been promising that one for a little while now. Um, so I wanted to share with you the projects from the video we filmed yesterday. So this is the Bellow pouch, three different sizes. Um, that's large, this is medium, and the small one is very cute. Small one actually still fits um, pens and pencils, so it, it's still a good size even though it's a smaller project. And um, I have two different finishing methods for finishing uh, 
the inside of the pouch. So method number one is for sewing the fabrics right sides together, easy peasy. There's also a method if you prefer to finish your pouch with binding. So both will be included. Um, my favorite is the large. I just really love it. It's a really great size. What fun fabric that she chose too, isn't it? The fabric is um, from the Land Art Fabric Line from Free Spirit Fabrics. And I, I've just been waiting for... Uh, this probably speaks to you personally. I mean, I feel, I'm looking at everything. It's <laughs> like, true. wow, it's something that we could see outside. Sarah All the would, animals uh, in our yard. Actually, I have not seen an owl yet or a deer. Um, but our old house, we used to see deer all the time because it was by the forest preserve. So... Um, I don't know. I don't have a release date for the bellow pouch, but like I said, we're hoping to, to film the Rockstar bag video, get that out to you, then we'll proceed with the bellow pouch and the rest of the three new patterns. We're going to be releasing those separately for now. So um, we will let you know, of course, on social media and on the live shows as soon as that's ready. Um, speaking of the Rockstar bag that we're hoping to start filming tomorrow, I'm using fabrics inspired by, I don't know if you follow Christy from Rock Baby Scissors on social media. She has an account on Instagram. It's just rock baby scissors, but I chose fabric for my rockstar bag for the video. Um, Chris, uh, inspired, inspired by Chrissy's uh, rockstar bag fabric choices from the past. I think Chrissy's made probably well over a hundred rockstar bags now, and the favorite combination of Alice mine. Allison glass. Of she uses a lot of Allison glass. This is from Allison's Ex Libris fabric line, and. Allison Glass will also be releasing um, this particular fabric as well as some new prints that are really bright and colorful in November. So, of course, I will be reviewing those on Social Sunday as soon as I get my fabric. I did pre-order them from Allison's website. Her website is allisonglass.com. But, um, yeah, exciting things on the horizon. And we, uh, when we filmed that Bellow Pouch video yesterday, that was our first time using the all of the cameras in our new setup. And I think it went pretty well, right? Yeah, it went pretty good. I kind of sprung it on you last minute. In my head, I was thinking, all right, tomorrow we're going to be filming, and I just never told you. So when you woke <laughs> up when you woke up in the morning, um, it was a it's like surprise. It's Friday. She's like, hey, want to film today? I'm like, uh, <laughs> stuff came in that we needed, but I'm not sure if it's ready. So I just went to work, and by a little before lunch, we were ready, and we started filming. Yeah, so it went great. I'm excited to release those for you. So um, let's get over to your pick of the week. For sure. my I saw this at the, I think it might have been Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, early on in the week. And when I saw this, I saved the pictures right away because I knew this was going to be my pick of the week. I didn't have to look no further. It's been a <laughs> while since I put any sci-fi bags, but Shannon made my pick. Shannon Gale. She made this awesome Baby Yoda widget. As you can see, there's green piping on there. It's She's got a zipper pull. It says, may the fourth be with you. Uh, Attention details outstanding. I love the fabric. If you look real close at the baby Yoda on the bottom, he's eating a frog. I, it, I assume it's a frog. It looks like frog's legs. And I, it's just, you can't not help smiling when you see this because I put a big smile on my face. So two thumbs up to Shannon. Awesome job. Great job, Shannon. I said, as soon as I saw the picture, I'm like, Shannon, you'll probably see this on Sunday because. I loved it so much right away. I was like, man, maybe she's selling this. I should send her a message. <laughs> I keep looking at your shirt, and it really makes me smile. I know everyone can't see the bottom of the shirt, but um, do you want to? I said I should give it to William because... Uh, I'll do it tomorrow. I, I love that. He inherited this trait from me. It's like, I'll do it later. And later comes and still didn't do it. So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> definitely my son. <laughs> yeah, it's totally your shirt. <laughs> All right. Um, before we get over to some questions, let's get over to the winner of last week's giveaway, and that winner is Cindy Mateer. So congratulations to you, Cindy. Um, I've contacted Cindy on social media. Cindy, if you're watching, please email me after the show just so we can get you connected with your prize. And congratulations to you again. So um, before we get over to some questions, uh, our special guest this evening is Bronwyn. Bronwyn run social media for us. We're going to have Bronwyn um, on the live shows occasionally to give um, updates about um, goings on. Bronwyn's recently taken over the newsletter. So um, Danny, uh, take it away with the technology. <laughs> All right, there's one of these buttons. I'm not sure, maybe this one. Hey Bronwyn, <laughs> thanks for joining us on the show. Oh, my technical headset on. Oh, let me put my other earbud on. Thank you for joining oh, us, Bronwyn. I've always wanted to Welcome, do Welcome, Bronwyn. Oh, Thank the, you. The bag dancing. And um, just when you were saying, Danny, about I'll do it tomorrow, it just reminds me of when I ask my kids to do something and they'll go, I'm on it. 
<laughs> no, you're on the couch. That's not <laughs> on the couch. I want you off the couch to yes. do something. I understand that one fully. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so Bronwyn, since you've yes. taken over the newsletter, what can we expect from the newsletter letter going forward? Well, I like the fact that there was a photo of me in the newsletter so that people can print it out, enlarge it, frame it, put it on their wall, so that maybe we could have an ongoing series of photos of me. No, that's not good. Um, I, uh, in the newsletter, um, as Sarah said the other day, last week, that there's just not enough time in the day for one person to do everything. So my job is to keep my ear to the ground, find out little snippets of information that I think you might want to know, and, um, share that, pick challenges each month. Uh, this month's is to make any bag you like, someone, uh, any so sweetness bag that is. Someone emailed me and said, please could we not do the minikins? And the picture that I've got happens to be a, a minikins project that I've got on there. But that's just to show that I'm using my cat fabric. So this is not a minikins challenge. This is to use any so sweetness bag. That will not be the challenge every month, but it is this month's challenge. But there will be um, challenges each month. I wanted to know, well, someone asked what time is it by you right now, Bronwyn? Oh, uh, what time is it for me? Lunchtime, baby. Okay. <laughs> it is um, 10 past 12 on Monday afternoon. You know, since you do have your picture well, in this I'm first newsletter, that. I'm wondering if they could print that out and take their picture of you with them and maybe a bag and go in the wild somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Me and hanging with the homies, you know, and Bronwyn, my bag and myself out <laughs> eating lunch together or something. Just an idea, but it's up to you. How many emails I'm going to get now, Danny? <laughs> lots, I hope. Lots and lots and lots. We love great communication. Okay, so in case you missed it, in case you missed the mm -hmm. newsletter, the August uh challenge for so sweetness patterns is any so sweetness pattern so it can be a free pattern uh, a minikins pattern another pattern and you just have to use animal fabric so um bronwyn has some examples of bags she's made so sweetness bags right, she's bronwyn, made using you ready? animal fabric here we go triple threat briefcase danny airplane bag well done Grab, Grab and go. And go yeah. Rasande, go ahead and say I said it wrong. <laughs> you pronounce it differently to me. Well, what's this one? Disco double zip. She stumped, She gave me a pre pre show quiz to make sure if I was up to snuff. I did hit four out of five. I'm going to clarify that now. The last one I or maybe I didn't see the first one to go to go over it, but the fifth one I did incorrectly call it. I thought it was the Zeppelin a, pouch. A Zeppelin pouch was something else. But and a belt. Uh, what? Okay, let's not throw me under the bus. I already admitted my <laughs> wrongfulness. Uh, I'll take the blame on this one. But uh, you know, you can't get them all right. I wanted to give room for opportunity to give you, you know, to show me up a little bit, you know, because I am a know it all, but I've got room to grow. I, I'm impressed that you remembered for the second time around, though. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little cheat sheet right here with a zip. It's like, yeah, done. So, Bronwyn, and um, another, sorry. No, go ahead. Another thing for the newsletter too, that um, there's always going to be a spotlight on something. And I thought maybe, I know there's a lot of interest in the man behind the camera. So I think um, that might be a good subject mm. going forward. We actually don't have anyone up. behind our camera. So well, I hope you're not okay. talking about me. <laughs> the man behind the technology. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll see, for sure. I'll, I'll give you three questions. Could be any question you like. All right, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to sit me on Facebook Messenger. Danny, it's going to be a lot more than three questions. I'll give you three answers that are... No, that's totally fine. No, I'd love to do it. You can answer these three questions, or you can answer a bunch more that won't be as bad as these uh, three. Okay. <laughs> okay. As long as it's not about my park sling bag, I'm okay with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, definitely going to be about that. <laughs> Dang it. I should have said nothing. We'd like an up-to-date photo. <laughs> I've got it in the box over there. I could show it to you. Okay, so before we get over to your questions live, um, I have one more question for Bronwyn, but before we do that, um, go ahead and type your questions in the comments, either a sewing-related question, 
question about an ocean or a bag, uh, a general bag making question, type your question now in the comments either on Facebook or YouTube and I'll be answering as many questions as I can live or if you have a question for Bronwyn, that's fine too. Charlie says, behind every strong woman is a man who will do it tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah. Love that. I thought that was great. So Bron, when I was wondering what is your next So Sweetness bag that you'll be making um, or if you're working on one right now, what's your next uh, project? Well, I, I think that I might make this rock star. I believe that um, there's a video being promised. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, I've actually never made the rock star bag and I bought some great fabric um, the other day that I think will be perfect for it. So I think that will definitely be my next product um, project. I, I am working on a quilt at the moment that I'm trying to finish. And then I reckon I'm going to move on to the um, rock star. And I was just, oh, I noticed that um, someone's just asked about signing up for the newsletter, that which is the one thing I did want to say that um, you can go onto the website and sign up for the newsletter. If you are already signed up for the newsletter, and or you're not sure if you signed up, you don't have to sign up again. You can just let us know your email address and we can check that out. Okay, perfect. And you can just go to sosweetness.com and there's a tab that says newsletter and you can just click on that and it's really easy to sign up. We just need your email address. Sarah, do you want this one or this one first? Uh, this well, one you have one on the screen. Let's answer yeah. that one first. Lynn says, um, how do you know Bronwyn? Do you remember how we met the first time? I think it was just luck on your part, wasn't it? <laughs> you know, I, I'll tell you, when I first noticed you, when we were, would do the group, I would be monitoring um, insights and seeing, you know, who's doing what and how it's going down. And Bron was, was the top five of the list of people that are doing generally nice comments, insulting some people, especially me, about, you know, blah, blah, blah. What? That's fine. No, I'm just kidding. No, Bron was always super nice to people in the group. And I, for, I told Sarah about it. Uh, I don't know if that's how it started or not, but I definitely noticed Bronwyn was a, a heavy hitter in our group on Facebook. Is that how you remember it too, uh, something similar? Yeah, I I think as I said in the newsletter, you know, I kind of stumbled upon you when I was on Instagram and I stumbled upon a video of the Minikin season one promo video. And I watched and I thought, oh, I really want to make those. Oh, but I don't think I can. I'm not good enough. I've never made anything like that. And, um, you know, I'm in New Zealand, so it was like the exchange rate. And it's like, oh, do I buy it? And, oh, and I finally, after a couple of days, bought it. And then, as Danny said, got into the Facebook group, got very vocal. And lo and behold, now I run So Sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> I think I missed the titles in the bottom. Say boss under Brown. Let me take the comment away. No, no, I don't understand how that, you know, how Sarah got boss and I didn't. Yes, it should say boss. Okay, my mistake. Next time we'll be fixed, boss. I promise. <laughs> That's not true. I don't run so sweetness, but um, it's been a <laughs> ride to now be an employee and having the best job ever. Um, I work from home. I set my hours so that if I need, if my kids need me or I have um, appointments, I can work around it and it's fantastic. I, I see Kathy's asking me what the first So Sweetness bag I made was. Um, funny you mention that, Kathy, because the first bag I attempted was the Moto Pouch from Minikin Season 1. You know, I had talked myself into buying it. I was all proud. I was all excited. And I made this pouch and it was awful it was awful and i felt like a failure and it ended up going in the trash and i have never made that pouch again until two weeks ago and i decided to tackle it again and see if i could pull off a great looking moto pouch and i gotta say i'm really impressed i had no problems so after two years your skills get better and you know give it another go if you don't get it right the first time doesn't mean you're a failure it just means you struggled and you'll get better um linda wants to know where does brian one come from i live in auckland uh which is in the north island of new zealand we are winter right now so which is why i'm not sleeveless like these two <laughs> Um, Karen wants to know, when you make the Rockstar video, will there be any changes from the original pattern? Uh, I thought about this long and hard. I think I originally wanted to change a few things, but 
because I'm so behind on, uh, I, th I think I promised the Rockstar bag for early summer and it's now approaching late summer. End of summer. <laughs> end of summer. <laughs> but uh, Brahman, are you approaching summer right now in New Zealand? Yeah. We like Perfect. We're, 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 we're approaching spring. Oh, so you have a little time, sir. It's summer New Zealand release, right? Yeah. So if I wasn't behind, I would say I would probably, I think I released the Rockstar bag in either late 2013 or early 2014. There's no errors in the pattern, but uh, if I had more time, I would probably re-photograph all the step photos and put it into um, the original pattern instructions were written in Microsoft Word, and I haven't used Microsoft Word for that in years, and I think I would probably make it look nicer, but because the videos, I'm running behind with the video, so the video is going to be based on the original pattern, and there might be some pattern hacks for things like um, not using binding, but as far as the video that will be available on the website, it will be the original pattern is written, because I actually do like this particular pattern with binding because it's, uh, here's this, here's a Rockstar bag made by uh, Christy from Rock Baby Scissors. Um, she's made over 100 and she actually does use the binding and we talked about it in the past, uh, use of the binding in this particular bag. And I feel like it provides a good, uh, what I call like skeleton. It's sort of, because it's such a, such a structured bag, the binding really makes it keep its shape rather than, I mean, it is pretty, you know, uh, I don't want to say stiff around uh, the curved edges, but like the binding really helps uh, create extra structure. So um, not to make such a long answer, because I always seem to be doing that, but um, in a nutshell, uh, that's the answer for the upcoming video. Um, Cheryl wants to know, Bron, when do you sell your bags? I've sold one and it was really, really stressful. <laughs> um, my sister-in-law had asked for a custom-made grab-and-go sleeve, and um, I don't remember, I don't know if you remember, Sarah, but it was really stressful for me. And then when she was coming down the driveway to pick it up, and I just thought, I can't put myself through that. So <laughs> I have this new pattern coming out, and I have got so many that I have made and not used, and I had a big clean-out a couple of weeks ago and cleared all the bags out that I don't use, haven't used, and gave them to a friend of mine so that she um, can have them and she can sell them and so that I have got space to make new ones. So no, I don't sell them. You did give uh, your picnic in the park um, cooler to a special friend. Uh, do you mind telling us I about did. that? We have a photo of Bronwyn's special friend too. My special friend Enid, she's uh, 98. And she, there she is. She's a darling soul. She is one of my recipients. I do Meals on Wheels once every two weeks. And um, yeah, 98 years old, lives on her own, does her own vacuuming. <laughs> that one blew me away. And I gave her my mini picnic in the park cooler so that she can have that for her Meals on Wheels. That's really sweet. What is Meals on Wheels? I wonder what that was exactly. Um, it's for people who are older or disabled or unable to provide a meal for themselves. So I, I don't know about the rest of the world. I know that in New Zealand that's run through the Red Cross. So I'm considered a volunteer uh, for the Red Cross. And so um, I, th I don't know what the criteria is, to be honest, and I don't know how much they pay and I don't know. I thought it was if you didn't have a family member who could help you out that you were entitled to. That's interesting. Get I, I don't really know. All I know is I get a list and I pick up the meals and I drop them off. And Although Enid was quite funny because she's quite old, I'm always a bit nervous that she might not be on my list on any given day that I turn up. So I said to her, you know, maybe that we could go out for a cup of tea or go out for a cup of coffee on another day. She said no. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, okay, then. We won't do that. <laughs> That's funny. Um, when will you be restocking on some of your hardware? We have hardware. We have two different shipments of hardware. One of the shipments should be r arriving any day. I'm trying to, the hardware and the zippers by the yard that we sell in the zipper pulls, uh, I have to order those about two months out. So I have two to three orders going at various stages at any one time. So our most current uh, order should be arriving any day. We'll let you know on social media as soon as we get it though. Um, everything will be restocked. I think there might be a couple of new items. I've, since it's been two months, I've forgotten what the new items are, but uh, I guess it will be a nice surprise when they arrive. 
Um, Maricel, I want to know, I'm new to sewing, I want to make bags. I was wondering if you could do a video on interfacing. There's so many and I'm so confused. That's a great question. Um, I do have a video on the website uh, Craftsy, which is currently blueprints, but I think they're going back to the name Craftsy on um, interfacings and stabilizers. Um, I think I might do, uh, a few weeks ago I did um, on Social Sunday, I talked about Decoville Heavy and Decoville Light, which people had a lot of questions about. Um, other than those two things, I don't have um, a singular video uh, on my own channel about different interfacings, but I'll, I'll write myself a note and see if I can come up with anything that won't conflict with the, the Craftsy video at least. Ashley wants to know, Sarah, what is your all-time favorite pattern? It's a little oh, slow. It? There it goes. Okay. It's going to go back um, one more time. What was the question? What is your all-time favorite pattern? Yes. As a designer, um, I feel like I have... Uh, two different opinions as far as favorites. So I have favorites as far as the design process, which one was the most fun to design. And then also um, on the opposing end, which one is my favorite one to use? So th my favorite one to use is definitely the um, Kanga supply roll from Minikin season two. I keep my makeup in there and it's, uh, I use it just about every day. I don't wear makeup every day, but on the days that I do, um, certainly crack that baby open. But I really love that particular project. As far as design goes, um, the, the more complex or more most difficult to figure out design, those are my favorites. So I'm working on one right now that it's um, probably my hardest to figure out yet. Um, I don't know, I guess I'll have to, to show you when I've uh, finish that one. I've just written the instructions and the pattern pieces right now, but I think you'll like it. And it's one I've gotten a lot of requests for over the years. So that's all I could say for now. Um, Vonda says, does the bag need to be of printed animals or an animal print like zebra? Um, Bronwyn, what do you think about that for the challenge? I'm thinking animal, printed animals. So not like any, because I think if we did like um, animal print, like a like zebra zebra's print or a cheetah, tiger's print, I think that would quite limit what we would get. So like what we showed, um, fabric that has animals on it. So a squirrel or a turtle. So or... you're saying like a zebra bag, like a bag with the zebra cheetah is not gonna qualify? Oh yeah, a bag with a zebra on it, yes. But a bag that just looks like zebra stripes, no. Yes, okay. So right. you actually guys see an animal. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Thanks for the clarification. Um, what can be used in place of Decoville Light? Uh, in my opinion, Decoville Light is really close to uh, Pelon Decker Bond, which is number 809. Um, they're a little bit different, but I feel like the consistency, perhaps two layers actually of the Decker Bond is pretty similar to the Decoville Light. Although I feel like the Decoville Light gives a smoother finish once attached to the interface. And when I use Pelon Decker Bond, I often like to use a layer of Pelon Shape Flex against the fabric first before the Decker Bond, just because it can produce some wrinkles or ripples once fused to the fabric, especially if you're turning it right side out through the opening in the lining. The Decoville Light, I don't get that same effect uh, when I use it. Um, hopefully that helps. Well, first off, Bronwyn, um, you're very popular, but you know what's even more popular? Can I get a guess? Okay. Yes, people, they love your cats and they want to know, how are your fur babies? <laughs> Hang on, I'll tell you what, one, I was trying to entice one over because he's just turned up in the room, but he's right there. I'm just going to get him. Hold on. Okay, while, while she does that, I'll answer sure. another question. You can put another question on the screen. Sarah, do you recommend cork for beginners? Uh, that's a great question. Actually, I have six quick cork projects uh, on my website. It's free patterns and videos, and they're like 10 minute projects that you can make with cork. So I would recommend starting with that just so you can get your feet wet. And there's one of uh, Bronwyn's babies. <laughs> this is Freddy. He's not my favorite. <laughs> I love the earmuffs. You guys couldn't see. She put earmuffs on the cat so you couldn't hear her. Aww. So yeah. who's your favorite then? Steven. Where's Steven at? Uh, he's asleep in the spare room. <laughs> this one is cute as a button. He's got a real cute little face, but everything's on his terms. He's a biter and a scratcher. 
Oh. And he likes to hide behind doors and pounce on people as they walk past. Nice. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> He's a hunter. Oh, Denise has a great question. Um, I'll just read it since we're, it seems like we have a delay. Um, do any of the new patterns have SVG? So Michelle Graham is working on SVGs for some of the past patterns. Let me see. Uh, one or two of the new patterns that I'm working on right now will have SVGs just because of the size of the pattern pieces. Uh, most cutting mats are as big as 12 inches by 24 inches. And so um, if you're not familiar with SVG files, SVG files are used by electric cutting machines to cut out uh, fabric or interfacing. And so some of the, the bags are bigger projects. It, it, the pattern pieces just won't fit on the cutting mat since you can't cut pieces on the fold. It has to be the whole entire piece. And so uh, the bellow pouches, I think, will be um, SVGs, this new pouch pattern, possibly one of the others, or maybe just the accents for um, this particular bag, just like I said, just because of the size of the pieces. All right, here's a, there's like three, four questions about this. Okay. Uh, they wanna know, what about a fish print? Um, do seashell animals count? Jellyfish, <laughs> do they all count? So um, I forgot, hit yeah. them all at one time. Yeah, so yeah, any think, animal, um, right? That breathes I think that was, eats. That resinda bag that we showed had fish on it. Oh, it right? did, so that's I think, correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So fish count, uh, jellyfish, my picnic in the park cooler is jellyfish because it's the um, Tula Pink Zuma mm -hmm. um, jellyfish print. As far as I'm concerned, that counts. Okay, great. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not like, you know, we're going to be a dictatorial police state about, about this. Just find an animal print, make a So Sweetness bag with it. I think I saw someone, maybe it was in the group, was actually making their bag with a dinosaur. So I... To me, that kind of counts because that's yep. Even it's though it's fictitious, yeah, right. It's an extinct animal. Not but fictitious, but yeah, not something that's around. Yeah, I take that back. When I was thinking like Snoopy, he's a dog, but he's a cartoon, like, you know. Like I'd accept unicorn. I mean, isn't a unicorn an animal, even though it's not a real animal? As I said, it's, we're not going to be policing right. it right. greatly. If you think it's an animal, make a bag with it. Okay, sounds you know, good. There was a good comment on here uh, about a bag. And for some reason it went away, but what I was asking was they'd like to a bag that was um, a sewing machine carrier. Then when you're, you can use it to carry the sewing machine around, but while not in use for that, it'd be like a dust cover for the sewing machine. I thought that was a pretty interesting idea. It won't let me post it, but- I'm smiling because of the first part of your question. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything more of that, but you know, just look at my smile and maybe that will give you a hint. Uh, you threw me with the second half, but- uh, That's what she said. I was on, no, I, I, when I say threw me, I didn't mean uh, not a good idea. I meant uh, that's not where I was going with what I was working on. Um, however, it's a really cool idea though. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool. Yeah. There you go. There it is. Oh, what's with the delay on the questions I, today? I, I, hey. <laughs> I know it's I, not your I, fault. I do my best with the technology. If the technology wants to uh, listen to me, Brahman, what do you got? I think it's because I'm in the future. So it's, you know, it's all about woo. <laughs> is that a technical term, woo? Because I think that'd be pretty cool if it was. You have to do it with the hand motions, too. Yes. And the sound effects, I think, is. Did you have some more questions for me? That's, you? Um, when's the next sew along going to be? Um, the next sew along was planned for the Rockstar bag. We were just waiting to finish the video because we know the videos uh, are helpful to a lot of people. So it will be um, sometime after the, vi the video is released, just so you have it if you want it. Um, again, I'm not sure of a date, but that will be the next one for sure. Um, Shelia says, Sarah Smile tells all. Oh. Um, that's all I could say, but it's coming really soon. And I'm excited. <laughs> uh, info on the challenge. Julie says, I missed the info on the challenge. There's a link in the description for the August 2020 challenge. It is for any So Sweetness pattern made with animal fabric. And the link in the description will take you to where you can enter your photo. Just need to snap uh, one photo of your project and enter it there. If you have any problems posting your picture, Feel free to please email me. My email is sarah at sosweetness.com, Sarah with no H. 
will help you out with that. But I see a lot of people have posted their pictures already. I think we have about 50 entries so far. So you have until the end of August to complete the challenge. And um, Roughly the three prize weeks. is a $100 gift certificate to SoSweetness.com. It's up there, sir. Oh, sorry. Uh, Deborah says, will you make a video <laughs> using SVGs and basic instructions on using the cutting machine? I'm not sure. I guess I'll have to think about that just because uh, everyone has different machines that you're using. I have the Cricut Maker, but there's other machines that are out there. So whether we'll do a video on that or not, I'm not sure. However, any machine that you have, uh, that particular manufacturer has videos on YouTube um, showing how to use that machine. So if you need help that way, um, those generic videos are already out there. But I'll give some thought if um, maybe troubleshooting or something that can help people with uh, more than one type of machine, if that's possible. Um, Nikki says, if you've got any tips to make a cover for an oddly shaped sewing machine, I'd appreciate them. I have a brother in Novus. She's got some fur babies on her picture. Um, let me see. A cover, like a dust cover. If you're looking for a dust cover... I do have that on my list of future patterns. I don't know when I'll get to that, but um, email me. I think I can help you anyway. Um, again, Sarah at SoSweetness.com and Sarah with no H. Uh, Jennifer wants to know, how do you turn a bag with a divider in it? I had issues with the Baker Street. Should I just interface the divider? Um, you can. Um, I've made dividers for bags in the past and I used uh, Pellon Shape Flex interfacing on them. Um, your divider just shouldn't go to the top of the bag so that you have the top area of the lining free so that you can sew the lining to the exterior right side out and then you can turn it. Um, I'm not sure if that's where you got stuck, but again, feel free to email me and I'm happy to help with uh, specific questions like that in more detail. Did you get the templates for the Rockstar bag already? Um, we don't currently have templates for the Rockstar bag. I was considering that the other day. The only thing with the Rockstar bag is there's one piece I'm a little concerned about, and it's this one. Whenever we consider a new acrylic templates, I always have to take a look and see if pieces will be candidates for breakage. And I think the rest of the pieces are not, but this particular one worries me. I can feel like this one would be easily snapped in the mail oh. or if you drop it because it's so thin. So I'm not sure. I guess I'll have to think about it some more, see if we can pull that off. It's all the questions I've seen updating. Okay. There might be some mixed in, but obviously we're having a little technical difficulties tonight. I'm okay. blaming YouTube because Facebook usually gets the blame, so I'm going to switch it up this week. Okay, well, thank you for all of your great question, questions. If you did have a question, like I mentioned, that I can help you with uh, privately or via email, again, feel free to always email me. Bronwyn, another of her tasks is helping us answer emails. And so uh, if you do have a question that uh, you'd like to direct at Bronwyn, you can just use that same email, sarah at soulsweetness.com. And uh, Bronwyn, myself, and Danny are all on answering the emails and so one of us will help you but um, I do have some people that sometimes uh, request Danny specifically or Bron Bronwyn specifically so that's perfectly fine as well. I think we should give a sneak peek maybe some info someone asked on here there's actually a couple people mentioned it, and I'm trying to see if I could find it shortly mentioned that um, in two weeks we're gonna have another special guest. Next week? Is it next week? I thought it was back when I was on the show. Uh, no, I think you're right. Two weeks. Two weeks. Maybe. Let's double check on that one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the final details. In the comments, I want you to write, who do you think our guest will be in two weeks? No Bronwyn, you cannot answer this. It's not Bronwyn either. Who's going to be our special guest? I don't know. We'll see. Put in the comments. Someone picks the correct answer. I will give away a $40 gift certificate in Sarah's name. So she's paying for it. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys next Sunday. Well, Sarah will be here next I have, Sunday. I, I have a giveaway here. still. Um, but Bronwyn, thank you for joining us on the show. <laughs> and like, we'll, see you, the show. we'll see Bronwyn on another future show. Yep, to thanks give for us some showing more up, updates. Bronwyn. We appreciate it. Thank you, Bronwyn. You're welcome. All right. So uh, we have one last thing to get to, and that's the giveaway. Uh, besides Danny's uh, spur of the moment $40 gift certificate, we're also going to be giving another, let's do 80 just because I have to best you a little oh bit. my gosh sarah we'll do an 80 dollars gift certificate uh for now you want to work when i'm not even yeah, pressing anything cancel that um 
we'll give away an $80 gift certificate uh, for this week's prize. Um, all you have to do to be entered for the gift certificate is to answer my question in the comments, either on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you watch this particular video. I'll draw the winner next Saturday evening and announce the winner on next Sunday's show. My question is, what is your favorite ride at a carnival or amusement park? So it could be a generic ride, like a merry-go-round. It could be a specific ride. I wrote down for my favorite, uh, the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train ride at Disney World. Do you have a favorite ride? I actually, that was my favorite until we went to Universal and went on their Harry Potter ride, which beat it in my book. That was my close second, so yeah. Disney fans over here, clearly. Um, Mine's Universal Studios, sir. Well, yes. Okay, sorry about that. Um, thank you for watching Social Thank you so Sunday. much, everyone. Um, I hope you have a great week and happy sewing. Bye, Goodbye. everybody. Bye, see you guys.